Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. You are watching the most excellent and exciting series on ESP32 Development Board. So guys, you know, in the last couple of lessons, uh, in the last about probably about eight lessons, I showed you how to set up and do the basic configuration and put the right firmware into your ESP32 Development Board. And uh, I also showed you how to install uh, Thani IDE and install MicroPython and you know everything is set and there is also firmware. I hope you downloaded it and I showed you systematically how to configure and keep things ready with you. From this lesson onwards we will start building some projects using ESP32 module. Alright guys. So uh, let's, let's start with some basic coding using MicroPython. So those of you who have seen my, who are following my uh, Pico Raspberry Pico lessons, it's the same way, almost the same way except the board is different. Pico does not have a inbuilt Wi-Fi uh, and such like that. Whereas ESP32 is pretty much powerful. It's got inbuilt Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and we will be doing a lot of exercise using a Blink app, mobile app and stuff like that. So uh, it's going to be really getting, you know, getting interesting guys. So. All right, now what we will do, let's let's open up our Thani IDE and we will take it forward from there. Just give me a minute. Let me share my desktop. All right, I hope you guys can see my desktop. So let me open up Thani IDE. So this is, this is the icon you'll see on your desktop, right? TH, that is the Thani IDE. Okay, now the ID is open. Now I can see this error, couldn't find the device automatically. So why is that? That's because I haven't connected my ESP32 to the port. So what you need to do, take your micro USB, micro USB cable, connect this at the right port. You got to plug it in and then you have to connect the other end of the USB to your laptop, to your Windows machine, whichever the machine you are using. All right, I can see happy little green. Good. So now what we need to do on the Thani IDE, once you open this ID, you can see there is untitled, right? It's a blank sketch. but you got to open up at the bottom right hand corner you can see you click on this click you can see all the boards so micro python esp32 micro python esp8266 micro python generic board and circuit python generic boards i am going to talk about the generic boards at a later stage it's a part of esp32 and esp8266 board like node mcu and stuff like that so there are ton loads of other boards guys we, we I, i'll try to cover most of the boards but let's stick on to ESP32. So select ESP32 like this. Okay. Now there you go. Device is busy. Does not respond. Let me just press the reset button. I hope it works. You need to press the reset button. If you get this error again, the device is still busy. Okay. Okay. Now let's do one thing. We got to troubleshoot this, right? So let's close the IDE. Keep the ESP32 connected to your USB. All right. So keep it connected. And what we will do, we will just close this and open it back again. Let me double click. device is busy or does not respond your options wait until it completes the current work use control c to interrupt okay use stop restart to interrupt more and enter ripple okay let me control c control c all right there you go now what we will do now you need to close it again close the ide and then start again 
there you go your esp32 is detected guys automatically is detected can you see a red light glowing now so as soon as you see this red light on your esp32 and your ide should show up like this with a terminal with a with a kind of linux uh, terminal at the bottom and on the bottom right hand at the bottom uh, bottom right hand side you can see your esp32 is picked up automatically right you don't have to pick up and select again now in order to test whether your program your your command uh, is really going to work within esp32 or not what we need to do to ensure that your thony id is interacting with esp32 module on the terminal let's do a test so let's let's uh, let's do a hello world program say print 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 what hello coding coding scientist let's cross our fingers this should start interacting with our esp32 hit enter there you go hello coding scientist fantastic guys so your ide your micropython ide is perfectly working and it's communicating with your esp32 now let's let's go ahead and write some program so leave it as untitled it's mentioned as untitled so that's a new sketch go ahead and click on top of this all right the top blank page and uh, we will we will try to write up some code a very basic code what we will do is there are inbuilt there is an inbuilt LT, uh, led in uh, digital pin 2 i think it's in digital pin 2 correct so it's connected to uh, you know internally it's been the circuitry has been designed in such a way that your led is connected to digital pin 2 of esp32 so let's glow that pin for a few seconds and switch it off and let's control that led through our start start and stop button can you see on the ide there is a stop and the run button which is a start so let's try to write a program and uh, see how it works. So let's say from machine import pin. So those of you who have seen my uh, Pico series, Raspberry Pico series, where, where I use MicroPython and Thony IDE, you should understand what is this machine and import pin. So machine is a, it's a standard module, which, which is an inbuilt module within ESP32 to interact and communicate with ESP32 development board for MicroPython. It, it acts as an object. It's a simple object, right? So from machine, we are importing pin. It's, it's kind of a library. And then from time, import sleep like this. From time, import sleep. Let me just reduce the size. Okay, let me drag it down. And then let's say LED equals pin. LED is already defined in pin number two, which is inbuilt. And then we are going to say pin dot out, which means sending out the electrical signal to the pin dot out. And then we need to bring that back into our loop, which is, you know, basically while true. We will say while true. The Oops, it's all in uppercase. It will not work. While true. T should be in uppercase. While true. So when it is true, what we need to do within the loop? We need to say LED value. Not LED dot value. It will be like a function, but you know, I'll explain. And then sleep 0, 0,5 for a few, few fraction of milliseconds. Now, ideally, this program should work. Let's see. Now, what we need to do, guys, most important thing, make a note. When you run this program, before running, you got to save this as main.py inside your uh, inside, inside your uh, ESP32 board, that is how it executes. Inside your when we when we burnt uh, when we burnt the firmware into uh, the ESP32, it automatically picks up a file called boot.py, which is already there inside your board, right? 
so when you when you write another program and the dot py program and run it into that it should be main dot py so that when when the the esp it automatically detects the boot dot py and it automatically goes to main dot py you cannot name it whatever you want it has to be main dot py only so what we will do we will go ahead and click this as run click this green button run and there is a pop up window can you see it here there is a small pop up window where it will ask where to save it you cannot say this computer if you save it in this computer it is going to get into your laptop and only your id is going to work we need to select micro python device select that and there is already a main dot py i am going to just overwrite it main dot py type it as main dot py okay now at last do you want to overwrite it i will say yes can't import name pin why is that that is kind of weird let me just check what is the issue let me make it little bigger import machine import pin oh i think this should be in upper case i am sorry guys you know micro python works like a python only so it's pretty much case sensitive now let's run and see all right it is working fantastic perfect i can see the led blinking on my esp32 let me just share my other screen so that you guys can see exactly what i am trying to do all right if you if you see here can you see the blue led next to the red led it started blinking right it it's perfect guys it's it's fantastic so uh, yeah so our code seems to be working and uh, the board seems to be detecting the program and our firmware seems to be working perfect so micro python seems to be working fantastic what else we need now what we got to do we have got into our main program and then uh, of course you guys saw how to you know boot it up and save the program as a main dot uh, py and execute the program so do not do anything with the boot dot py uh, the program which sits inside your esp32 do not mess that up just leave it as it is because whatever the projects we are building it has to be next to the boot.py the the way micro python works inside esp32 is as soon as you execute the program it will run through the boot.py and then go to the next file which is your main.py so that's how it is and in the next couple of projects what we will do is we will start using arduino ide as well because we will be writing codes based on c c++ and deploy that into esp32 and in parallel we will also use few projects for micro python using thani ide so guys i hope you enjoyed get hands on to it if you have any questions if you have any doubts do reach out to me i'll be glad to help you out goodbye